Thank you for purchasing the Permajet refillable cartridge system for the 3800 and 3880. We're just going to give a, a quick talk through the procedure of affixing the original Epson chips to your kit in order to get the system to work correctly in your printer. Having unpacked the contents, you should be looking at nine refillable cartridges, two of which have attached our green large master programming chips. These must be put to one side. It is important you take note of the colours on the end of the cartridges as these two colours will not be required off your Epson chips. We are now going to go through the procedure of removing the chip from your original cartridge and this is the small green chip on the top of the cartridge. You will notice that it is much smaller than our original master chip. Take a sharp blade and gently prise the corner of the chip upward. And keeping note of which colour this belongs to, place it alongside the refillable cartridge that has that same colour marked on the front of it. On the top of that cartridge you will find a small sticky tab. This has a covering which must, must be removed. Again using the same blade gently pick that cover away. It leaves behind a small adhesive piece of tape. Take the chip that applies to this colour cartridge and affix that on top of the tape. There are two small lugs on the cartridge so it easily is recognisable which way around that must go. Press the chip down carefully and securely ensuring that it's absolutely flat with the surface of the cartridge. This procedure you must follow and repeat on all seven, uh, oh, sorry, six remaining cartridges. Once you have carried this out that means you have a complete set of nine, two of which will have the master programming chips on. The next stage is also very important. Of the seven cartridges you've just created with these chips, there is a requirement to affix a small piece of adhesive tape that is also supplied in the pack. And this must cover one of the contacts. The contact is the bottom left-hand corner You affix that carefully and push it over the edge and, sh and have a close look to ensure the tape is not covering any other of the contacts but must 100% cover the bottom left hand corner that is the row of four brass contacts the one on the left. Repeat this process on the six remaining cartridges. Do not under any circumstances affix any tape to the master programming chips. These must be left uncovered. The final stage of the chip affixing is created by covering, that's putting the same piece of tape onto the maintenance tank in exactly the same position. This can be applied to your existing maintenance tank, but do take care when removing the tank if it is already part filled, as potentially you may spill some ink. Put something on your table prior to doing that. And that concludes the chip affixing process. Should you have any further questions, please do contact us on 01789 739 200. Thank you for listening.